Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I'd like to share with you some industrial design that I saw and was intrigued with and it just so happened that it was the industrial design of these urinals. So the uh, purpose is uh, very important <laughs> and I believe strongly that industrial design knows no boundaries and so I started putting together some surfaces and I liked the basic design but I wanted to maybe improve upon it. So uh, I started with a sketch that was the basic shape and that's what uh, gave me the kind of footprint of the shape and I created a, another ellipse, half of an ellipse and then a datum plane and then I created a sketch on that datum plane that intersected with all the others and then I did it through curved mesh. NX is really great about using, uh, about doing through curved mesh because this point right here was the first section and this was the second section and there's a point right down on the bottom that's the third section and then I've got the uh, cross curves that were just those three uh, curves that I made with the sketches. So that was really cool. Uh, then um, I did some, I did a bounded plane on the back because before I did the bounded plane, it was just an open uh, surface and I did a bounded plane and I did a sew. So now I had a solid model and then I did a sketch, a sketch that I was able to extrude. Oh, you know, I did a sketch with a line and an arc. Here, I'll show it to you. And this was a line and an arc. And when I um, extruded that, it left a flat plane and a cylindrical plane and I didn't want that. I wanted it to be nice and smooth because I want to do some other things later. So the first thing I did was a composite curve and then I did an extrude and a subtract. And as you can see, although this little line segment uh, is tangent to this arc segment, if you will, it's all one shape. I should say it's all one curve and so then I extrude it and I don't get a surface intersection and that was really important. Uh, then I split the body so that I can do um, this offset, this uniform offset from this edge and use that to create yet another surface. So I did some sketches and some datum planes and I did an extrude right here so that I would have something to drive the next surface that I was making. See this extrude right here and then I did another curve mesh and I did a delete body and so I was able to create this surface here and I sewed that together and I used it to do a trim. So there we go. That is the, let's do a control B here, that is how I created the basic surface of the urinal. So there's a basic shape that I really like. I believe that industrial design is the process of bringing about joy in many cases to users and sure, why not have joy as you urinate? <laughs> it's important. Then uh, I needed the little cage so that the drain doesn't get clogged and in order to make that a drain I did the circular pattern of all these little cylinders and I did a big huge subtract so I had that um, and then I created the tubing and such that's in the back of this so that the thing can drain and basically I had the final uh, the final design. After the final design the last thing was to perhaps put on some textures etc and uh, go into especially check the geometry by going into display and uh, do the ray traced studio is very nice. And here we go, a beautiful rendering, an industrial design. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.